So did you know that giving flowers to girls in Eastern Europe, whether that's Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus, is massive business. There are literally flowers everywhere lining the streets in the major cities, not just here in Odessa, Ukraine, but all over the foreign, former Soviet Union. But does it help local and foreign guys actually get the girl at the end of the day? That is the question I'm going to be answering in today's Tip Thursday with me, Connor Klein, by Ekele. Начнем с того, что это всегда приятно, когда тебе дарят цветы. So guys giving girls flowers, at least girls that they're interested in, is a long-standing courting tradition, not just here in East Europe, but also in West Europe, and it has fallen out of favor in the West. But it remains pretty strong here in Eastern Europe, especially when you see the amount of girls walking around with flowers, posting them on their Instagram, amazing bouquets. But does that mean that you should buy flowers for a girl? And how often should you buy them if you are а что сегодня? Какой день? Сегодня 8 марта. И почему у тебя это розы? Потому что в этот день должны все дарувать женщинам и девчатам квиты. Кто не подарував, то и плохой. А кто подарував, то и молодец. И Конор молодец. Так, возьмем такой мини. Спасибо большое. Видите, так получилось. Хорошо. И рада сейчас. Супер. What does giving flowers to a girl actually do? Well, for sure, I've been spoken to many Eastern European women and dated many and spoken to my clients and seen what happened when they gave flowers, when they didn't give flowers. It's basically flowers create a ephemeral emotional spike for the girl. It's pleasing to receive the flowers. It's a little bit of a, it's a present. And then inevitably they go and they post it on Instagram. And it is a status indicator for a lot of girls and social media and Instagram in particular at the moment allows them to just turbocharge that status indicator to other girls. Do you think that it's important if a girl wants to be with you, that she gives you a gift? No, why not? Is it working? Or not? If you like a guy with a bouquet of flowers, я поняла, вот именно незнакомец. Прекрасный повод для знакомства. I have seen what my clients do, and many of my clients have insisted on buying flowers for girls. And in general, our conclusion is, when a Western guy buys flowers for a girl, that in general, it doesn't help. You could have created this short-term uh, emotional spike in many ways. That's what I go into in my premium training on my boot camps is exactly how to create those emotional spikes whether positive and negative so it's not the only way you can do it of course it can work and what we've noticed is because you put the girl on a pedestal actually you lower your own value to a certain extent in the eyes of the girls which is kind of ironic and paradoxical because you've gone and given her a gift but that's the problem you've given it to cheaply you put her on the pedestal boom your value relative in her eyes remember it's only perception of value it's not actually your real value of course you just went and gave a nice gift as a gesture but that's what we've seen
don't want to say that you should never buy damn flowers for girls in Eastern Europe. That would be ridiculous. There are special occasions like the 8th of March. If you are interested to go, you must buy your flowers. It is a tradition here. So that is something to be very aware of <laughs> when you come in. Of course, if you're dating a girl over the long period and it's a serious relationship, uh, the courting process here is that girls have expectations to receive flowers occasionally. Uh, depends on the girl that you're dating, how frequently she wants them. Yes, you be a part of it, you can give me a gift for the flowers. Если парень мне подарит не цветы, а, например, коробку конфет или новое платье, я тоже буду за. Количество цветов, ну, по сути, мне кажется, должно быть просто гармонично и красиво. Я не люблю, когда их слишком много. И когда слишком мало, вот, допустим, когда тебе приносят там вот три розочки, но оно как бы пойдет. Ну, как-то, ну, вот такой скудненький, понимаешь? Ну, вот. Если парень подарит цветы, а что девушка должна подарить? Что девушка должна подарить? <свят> а, ну, смотря какой у него парень, смотря что он любит. Она должна оттолкнуться от его интересов и подумать, как она может сделать ему приятно. So what do you think? If you want to get the girl here in Eastern Europe, should you be buying her flowers? Or, in fact, is that going to be counterproductive to your chances of seducing your Slavic beauty? Let me know in the comments section below this video about your experiences with dating here in Eastern Europe, and in particular if you were buying flowers or not. Uh, the genesis to today's video was, in fact, my Slavic Seduction Secrets Bootcamp, which finished up maybe about five or six weeks ago, because many of the guys participating in that, they had that exact question. Connor, should I be buying flowers? for a date here in Eastern Europe, in particular for Ukraine, because a lot of them are planning to travel to Odessa even here on the shores of the Black Sea, which is absolutely scorching today, over 30 degrees again at the end of August. And we dive deep into that particular uh, issue in a very relevant module, which was about how to create the perfect date. In the other modules, we went into things about how to interact with the girls, how to increase your chances on meeting. Girls are going to be the right fit for you, the sincere, beautiful girls, not the dodgy girls. Uh, and actually, we even have a module about uh, testing for gold diggers. If you want to avoid the gold diggers, of course, if you're open to gold diggers, then always good to know who you're dating. Uh, how to design the optimal travel itinerary for the region. And lastly, how to test the girl to make sure that she is a good fit for you over the long term. So you don't go wasting years of your life, uh, just tons of emotional energy and of course money invested into the dating the wrong woman here, the wrong Slavic beauty. So you're probably thinking, Connor, that's great, but you finished up your boot camp. Can I still get to see it? Well, in order to have an opportunity to enroll in the future when I open that up, then you need to be on my mailing list. There is a link below in the description to this video. It's completely free. Go there. I only opened it up for enrollment to my most loyal fans. We're on that free mailing list. You type in your email address and as a thank you, I will send you my checklist. Five biggest mistakes made by Western guys when they come here to date women in Eastern Europe. So it's basically a no brainer. Uh, it's free <laughs> and it'll definitely be of value too. So go and sign up for that if you haven't done so already. And 
now I'm going to go and get out of this absolutely scorching sun because it is crazy hot here. Что у тебя там? Это пионы, Кона. Да. Не нравится? Нравится. Почему брошь? Конор, нет. Конор, они очень красивые. Не, серьезно, цветы очень красивые, Конор. Просто понимаете, в чем проблема вышла? Проблема в том, что я ждала, понимаете? Вайт. Я ждала розы. А когда ты ждешь розы, а получаешь другие цветы, ты чуть-чуть расстраиваешься. Experience.